what an awesome place to come to. I'm so glad I came by here. I just pulled up here uh, to the side of the river and walked over and looked in. There's some big old fish in there. I think they're carp or, or drum or something, but um, there's a lot of fish. Last time I was here, I didn't see a single thing. So it's a good time to see some fish out. Just got done uh, taking some kids fishing, caught a few fish, and I was like, I got a little time to go to the river. So I'm gonna head over here and see if I can get something out of it. Here's one. Oh man, dude, that's a Kusa bass. But that right there may be my biggest one. No, he's probably not, but he is chunky. And that's a really good size one. That's a really nice Kusa bass. He came out from under the log. There's, uh, there's fish everywhere down here. The water's super clear, the, the, the Conestoga River. And um, I'll, there's a lot of Kusa bass in here, which I really like. That is a good size one to catch. Just got some night crawl around there. I'm gonna see if I can get any anything else to bite it. Well, I wasn't really wanting you, but that's all right. I'll take a fish. And it's not a bluegill. It's a long ear. Pretty sure it's a long ear sunfish. It's a little bit more colorful. It's cool. There's a little Kusa bass. It's about the size of a one I'd catch out of a creek. For this river, it's this is a small one. There's definitely a lot of these fish in here. There's one. Second cast into this uh, little current that goes through here. Kusa bass. Oh, this is a pretty looking one. I love how colorful these fish are. Hey, that's a small one, but it's nice. Good looking little fish. Oh yeah, chunky one. Man, these are some good Tusa bass today. What an awesome place to come to. I'm so glad I came by here. Getting these little bass, these little fat bass. Super clear water. Oh, whoa, yes. Dude, that thing hit hard. Man, look at that. That's sweet. Uh, he's not as big. Man, he hit hard. He just slammed that little rooster tail. He's in the same spot I caught that other one at. Ouch. I forgot to bring my... Uh, another pretty one. That's a really good deep spot right under the under this this uh, railroad tracks. 
There could be a big fish in here. Holy cow, it's a big old bass down there. Whoa, 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 dude. Dude, it's a big bass. Oh my goodness. If I catch him, I'll never be able to get it up here. Man. I just cast it down just to see what happened and this big old bass came and looked at my lure. Getting dangerous. Let me get my phone out just in case I slip in. Oh, it's deeper here than I thought it was. Oh, no, I got it in my pockets. We get my wallet out too, just in case. Don't drop this thing. Whoa, these rocks are slippery. Oh, almost made it across. All right, here we go. Back to safety. Can't wait to come back to this place. This is one of my kayaking trips. Had a good time this afternoon, this evening, just exploring around and um, just saw some a bunch of fish underwater, caught some nice fish. Uh, ended up getting wetter than I thought I was gonna be. Wasn't even planning on waiting. And I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta wait around. I got to explore this um, really cool bridge back up behind me. And um, also got a lot of uh, cool underwater video footage. Hopefully it turns out well. I can't wait to look at it and I hope you enjoy it. Here it comes. <laughs> 